Welcome back to another how-to tutorial series brought to you by Team Terramind. In today's video, we will cover topics relating to Terramind's behavior policies and rules, walk you through the implementation of sample policies, and discuss how you can benefit from their reporting. Feel free to visit www.terramind.co and click the online demo button to explore the dashboard. Click the Start Tour button to check out examples similar to the ones presented in this video. Terramind offers a unique blend of user activity monitoring and data loss prevention solutions all under one roof. Simply install the Terramind agent on the endpoint you wish to monitor and Terramind can provide detailed reporting on user actions while allowing for a layer of automation to keep you aware and prevent unwanted user actions. Terramind's monitoring solutions provide powerful observation capabilities into user activity and behavior. You can get detailed reporting and visually see when users are involved in any malicious or otherwise risky activity, spending time in unproductive tasks or applications, or simply operating in a manner that is not cost efficient to the organization. Now the core of the Terramind solution is its policy enforcement engine, whereby you can set up multi-condition policies to get immediate notifications when users commit certain actions while having Terramind take real-time action on your behalf. For example, you can create a rule that will alert an administrator and warn the user when they're trying to upload confidential documents or even block the upload operation altogether. As you can see, Terramind comes with pre-built policies you can select from or use as inspiration to create some of your own policies. Most of the policies you will find here come from direct interaction with our customers, so you can be sure to find real-world examples of the types of policies that may be relevant to your organization or industry. You can customize these templates, make minor edits, or create policies from scratch, essentially honing in on user actions unique to your operational concerns. To keep things organized, Terramind allows you to manage rules under unique policies. Policies are basically categories for you to put similar rules together. For example, you can have all your PCI-related rules under a policy like PCI Compliance, and all your general rules under a policy like Business Etiquette. To add rules to a policy, click Add Rule for this policy. Let's show you how easy it is to create a rule. In addition to pre-built policies, Terramind comes with a vast library of templated rules you can use right out of the box. You can customize these templates, make minor edits, or create policies from scratch, essentially honing in on user actions unique to your operational concerns. Let's start with an email template. Email contains lawsuit threat. As you pick a template, it will automatically configure the rule with the right settings and some sample data. You can of course edit them as necessary. Let's pause here for a moment and introduce you to the rule architecture layout. On the left you will see some tabs which represent the main steps of creating a rule. We will explore them individually as we create this rule. The center window is where you can customize the parameters or settings for those tabs. And on the right hand side you have the rule summary. You'll note that the rule summary is in plain English so you won't get lost during the rule architecture phase. Now that you have a better understanding we can go back to editing the rule. Let's give it a name and optionally a description. For the rule category, we can see that the template has already selected content sharing. Content sharing is a very powerful rule category that lets you create rules based on how users can interact with data you deem sensitive. Many of Terramind's data loss prevention rules are created based on this category. For a detailed explanation on the differences between activity-based policies and content-based policies, please check out our UAM for DLP videos on the Terramind YouTube channel. You'll note you can also create policies based on how a user may deviate from his or her schedule. Tags, while optional, allow you to filter for rules on the alerts report and risk dashboard, which we can discuss later in this video. For the types of content, emails is pre-selected based on the template. You can, of course, select multiple content types. For example, in addition to emails, you can check for lawsuit threats on incoming instant messages with one single rule. For this exercise, we will keep it simple and focus on a single type of content, emails. Click continue to go to the next tab, user. For users, you can tag rules to individual users, multiple users, groups, departments, or company-wide. For this demo, we will go with everyone. The next tab, content, is where you'll define the bulk of your data classification. The first field for you to complete on this screen helps in defining the criteria for data classification, essentially telling Terramind what makes this data sensitive. Depending on the rule type, you can select options like data content, predefined classified data, file origin, and others. Data content is the most generic and applies to any type of data. Doesn't necessarily matter whether it's text in an email attachment, text in a file, or text in a website. You can use a more specialized classification like clipboard origin to check for copy-paste operations alone. 
For this example, we will leave it to data content. Next, we can define content type. Here we have the option to search for text, binary, or both. For the purpose of this demo, we will leave it at text. Keep in mind, depending on what was selected in the previous field, options may vary here. The next fields are match type and match value. Here we want to search for any occurrences or patterns of words and phrases that might correspond to a lawsuit threat. So we will be using a regular expression match for the match type. You can also use simple match logics like contains or equals or use a predefined list of words and phrases. To learn more about using shared lists, check out one of our other tutorials entitled How to Defend Against Data Loss with Terramind. It can educate you on data classification and how you can leverage the feature for robust data loss prevention with Terramind. Let's click continue to go to the next tab, emails. Here we can limit the search to specific email elements like mail subject, emails going to or from, mail attachments, and others. We can also limit the rule to certain mail clients like webmail. For the purpose of this demo, we will select any to capture all actions. Let's create another condition. We will select the mail element and create an exception for terramind.co. This way we can ignore any emails that are sent internally. Now that we have set up the data classification and conditions, the final step is to tell Terramind what action or actions it should take when the rule is violated. The Actions tab has two modes, Simple and Advanced. You can set most of the common actions from the Simple mode. The Advanced mode includes options like thresholds and risk reporting. For the purpose of this demo, we will focus on the Simple mode options only. For the type of automated action the Terramind agent should take, we will start with a warning message to the user, alerting them that management is aware of the occurrence. Optionally, we can use an HTML template for the message window to be aligned with the organization's color scheme. As for alerting an administrator, we will tag the organization's legal counsel and HR department so they are fully aware of the incident and can immediately take necessary measures to ensure the integrity of the organization. Click Save and Launch Rule and you're all set with this rule. Essentially, this is how easy it is to build rules with Terramind. As you can see, the rule editor is visual and interactive. Each step is context sensitive and provides options relevant only to that policy or step. You don't have to memorize or do any cumbersome scripting. With built-in templates, predefined rules, and export and import features, you can customize a wide array of multi-conditioned rules specific to your organizational requirements. Anomaly rules make Terramind's policy and rules engine much more complete and robust. Regular rules like the one we created earlier can detect user activity and content sharing at granular level. However, with that kind of power, it also gets a bit overwhelming when you're trying to set up rules for the first time. Wide scoped rules or rules with generic parameters like file upload or detecting some numeric pattern on documents can lead to many false positives. To minimize this, Terramind's anomaly rules can apply additional thresholds to a rule violation. As before, you can create an anomaly rule from scratch or use an existing template. Let's select a template for outgoing emails with an attachment. The template by default is applied to everyone. You can of course edit this and tag it to specific users and departments only. Here you can select what user action will trigger the violation for this rule. For the anomaly conditions, you can select threshold count or baseline behavior. You can of course select both if needed. Threshold count is simply how many times the action will be allowed before it triggers an anomaly. We have set its frequency to 10. The anomaly baseline option uses a complex algorithm to determine if certain user behavior falls outside the normal pattern. This can be the user's own behavior autocorrelating to what they did in the past or a cross selection of departments. Next, you can set the risk levels and if the rule violations will be counted separately or accumulated. You can of course create anomaly rules for many actions like web and application usage, number of emails sent, how many times a document was printed, or mass deletion of files. Next we will discuss rule violation alerts and reports. After you have created some rules, you can start tracking their performance with the alerts component. To view all the rule violations and get detailed reports on their occurrences, go to the behavior tab and then select alerts. From here you can build the report based on a relevant date range for your review. You can also filter the report based on a policy that was violated, severity of risk, tags, and automated action taken by Terramind. On the user side of things, you can filter by employees, departments, or by computers. Or you can simply use the search bar to search for anything of relevance in the report. Just below the filters, you can see a trend graph for all the triggered alerts. Below the graph is a detailed list of all the flagged events. Let's set a policy filter for the demo policy. 
You can now see a list of all the rule violations under the demo policy, including the warning for lawsuit emails rule we created earlier. Terramine's forensic functionality allows you to not only report on user action, but also get a first person view of exactly what occurred using the session playback functionality. You can access the feature by clicking on the small video camera icon to the left of any reported instance in the Terramine dashboard. This will immediately launch the historic player where you have full playback functionality to fast forward or rewind. From the player, you can glance at any recent policy violation or activity undertaken by the user by clicking on the bell icon. Each report provides you with a playback link into the point in time in that user session when the action was committed. As mentioned, on the lower portion of the player, you have your playback options. On the top right hand side of the player, you can take a screenshot of the desktop or export a portion of the user session for later review. The session recording functionality is highly configurable, allowing you to specify when the agent should record the user session, whether that be indefinitely, during regular business hours, or only when a user is in violation of a policy you created. Application for this feature is clearly forensic, but is commonly used by our customers for compliance purposes as well. As an example, think of a bank where compliance regulations may require certain tellers or users to have their desktop sessions recorded. In the next part of the video, we will explore Terramine's risk reporting component. The risk dashboard will provide you with detailed reporting on the current state of risk in the organization and provide reporting to assist with its mitigation over time. You can filter the report based on users or departments, severity, or tags. You can then filter based on risk scores or number of violations. The risk score is calculated by things like severity of risk on a single occurrence, as well as the frequency of violations over time. So always be in the habit of assigning risk levels to rules for optimal reporting. Just below, you will find three reports providing you with information on risky users, users who are accumulating the most risk, risky rules, rules that are most commonly violated across all departments, and risky objects, objects being websites or applications used in conjunction with the violated rules. You can click on any line in each report and see the top three aspects of that report along with the percent of their risk allotments. That's all we had for our behavior policies and rules tutorial. You should now be able to create new policies and rules and track their violations and risk reports. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button below and be sure to subscribe and check out our other tutorials on the Terramind YouTube channel.